Welcome to my new screencast. Today I want to show you a new tool that I've created. It's a very, very simple tool and it's solving a little problem that I have. Um, so I just opened here a solution in which I created originally in Visual Studio 2013. And in this solution, I just uh, right click the solution file and just gen then chose um, enable NuGet package restore. And this function created this solution folder containing three files. And it's just edited the uh, CS project file here. I just show it to you. The CS project file here you have it in Notepad++ was just edited with a new import, um, just targeting this target file here in the solution uh, folder. And then it's just implemented the target in some way. So this was the first one. The second one was a solution file, obviously, which was um, just uh, um, uh, implemented for NuGet. So, and what I want to achieve is uh, to get rid of all this stuff because Visual Studio 2015 is able to restore the packages without all this creepy stuff. And that's important because, for example, the NuGet exe here, it's not good to have it inside the solution because <coughs> um, when you use source control like Git or TFS, um, this file is normally not checked in by default. So it's always missing on some computers and it's just um, making a lot of uh, head pain. So what I've done, I just created a tool and you can use it by just going into the folder and typing NuGet repair. It's not repairing, or, um, um, but I named it that way and I'm too lazy to rename it. So we have to live with this name. NuGet repair dot means inside this folder, you can alternatively just type in in double quotes, um, the folder name for path to the folder, I just use point or dot. And then I can use the simulate switch, which um, just says do nothing, just um, inspect um, what you find. When I do so, he's saying, hey, I'm simulation mode. This is the folder I was pointed to and I found 70 files and three of them are unnecessary files from NuGet, those three files here in the background. And I found one project file and this project file is invalid, which is again a very, very hard word I've chosen, <laughs> invalid. It's not invalid in terms of Visual Studio invalid. It's uh, invalid because when I delete all this stuff, this gets unnecessary. So, and then it say, hey, uh, that was sim mode and uh, no changes were made. So this shows us, hey, it's working. Normally you just go here, I just, uh, say nuget repair uh, dot and without sim executing it that's it i go back to visual studio and visual studio says hey just reload me please and when i do this as you can see here the nuget folder disappeared and just to go inside the project file there is nothing left for nuget if you uh, want to ensure that NuGet Restore is enabled, there's an option, NuGet Restore, I think it's true, uh, but it's working without two. So when I go here and reload this, we want to ensure that NuGet Restoring is working. So to ensure this, I just show you my packages folder inside my test, it's empty. so. We have to restore packages because this project needs two packages, MSPCL build and JSON. So when I just rebuild this one, you've seen the window and I go back, you see the packages folder gets populated and everything works like in Visual Studio 2013 too. As you've seen, um, I just uh, did something tricky. I just said, in, in the first run, I said nuget repair dot and then simulate. And this is saying, hey, there's everything okay, everything is valid. And then I said, without simulate, do it. And between those two calls, you've seen me closing the console. That's because I don't know why there's a strange bug currently. When you just leave a console open, some resources seem to uh, stay in access and it's not working correctly. So that's why I closed the console between the two runs. 
um, you may experience uh, on your project just hit NuGet repair dot and that's it. You can download it um, and I will post the link to the 7-zip archive at the bottom of this um, webcast and I will uh, post the link to GitHub 2 where you can take a look uh, at the sources I've created. It's very simple and straightforward and I hope it helps you and I wish you all the best. Bye.